Hi, this is Todd Delaney with KSLU Radio in Hammond, Louisiana. Today I'm going to show you some basic recording with Adobe Audition 3.0. So first thing that we're going to do is come over here to the uh, icon Adobe Audition 3.0, double click on it, and like any Windows program, it'll go ahead and crank up. Cranks up pretty quickly. And uh, there we go. This is my edit view. And um, this is where I can do some basic recordings. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a, a vocal recording right here. And to do so, I'm going to come over here to my record button. And I'll click on that. And it pops up this little uh, little interface. And it shows me my sample rate, channels, and resolution before I start recording. And it defaults to CD quality. So under sample rate, you've got 44,100. Channels is marked stereo. And resolution is 16-bit. So again, it defaults to this. And uh, that's pretty good recording for what we're going to be doing today. So we'll just go ahead and say OK to that. Once we do, then my waveform starts popping up right there. And I'm actually recording into Adobe Audition at this point. So I'm going to do a real basic exercise you'll find in pretty much any audio production class. Uh, here we go. Two, one, three. And now what I'm going to do is stop my recording, go back and put those numbers in the correct order. So to stop my recording, I'll come back down here to my transport again and click on this icon, the stop icon, and it stops my recording. Now I can point and click and put my cursor pretty much anywhere and uh, I can listen back to the audio from that point by uh, coming down here to the play button go production class. Uh, here we go. and stopping it or I could also use the uh, space bar to start and stop so point click climb in pretty much any audio start and stop with the uh, space bar. A lot easier uh, saves you a little bit of time if you use the space bar. Uh, what I'll do now is uh, click and drag and highlight a section in this case I want to delete this. This is all the audio before my numbers right here and to do that, to, to delete that, I can go up to Edit and select Cut, and it gets rid of that audio. So now if I hit Play, two, one, three, I just have my, my numbers right there. And I also want to click and drag and select all of this afterwards and delete that as well. I can hit Delete on the keyboard, and that would get rid of it. Or again, I, I could also go and uh, do a right click and select Cut. So either way, uh, many different options to, uh, to do the audio editing that you need to do. So here we go. This is what I've got so far. Two, one, three. So easiest way to uh, get these numbers in the correct order would be to select my number two right there. And again, I can right click and cut, come in between one and three, and select paste. So just like any uh, other Windows program that you're used to, especially Adobe products, you can cut, paste, uh, and you know get everything in the right order before you go ahead and save your audio file. So now let's listen back to it. One, two, three. And there we go. So those numbers are in the correct order. And I started and stopped that with uh, my space bar. But again, down here in the transport, you can use the play button. One and the stop button to listen back to it. So once you're happy with that recording and basic editing, you can go ahead and save that. We'll do that by going up to File. We're going to select Save As. And in this case, we're going to save to the desktop. And I'm going to title this Todd Delaney KSLU Recording 1. I'm going to save this as a Windows PCM uh, WAV file and uh, as this type down here. So it's usually the second from bottom, Windows PCM Wave. And it's a very large file, but it's got a lot of fidelity to it. High quality audio recording. So I'm not losing any of the fidelity or the quality of the audio. I'll go ahead and select Save, and that'll save it pretty quickly. And that's pretty much it for today. We're going to go ahead and file, uh, exit out of Adobe Audition. And that's the basics of recording with Adobe Audition 3.0.